What's up? Uh, walking here with Andrew. Ciao. Ciao. And uh, we're walking down the streets of Chiang Mai and we're having a good time. We just uh, met up with a friend of ours from college named Jason Fonger. And he uh, took us to a cool veg or vegan restaurant and uh, we had our first durian as well. Uh, which is sometimes known as the stinky fruit, but uh, he knows he knew of a very like fresh place to get it, so we had a great one, and it was uh, it was very interesting. Um, I'd, I'd definitely have it again, but uh, yeah, it, it's hard to describe. You, you pretty much just have to have one to to know what it's all about. Um, it's like custardy cantaloupe. Custardy cantaloupe. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Uh, so now we're just uh, walking down a little side street. Here comes a tuk tuk. And uh, we got about, uh, how much time, like two hours? Yeah, about two hours before our flight. Uh, we're flying to the Krabi province of Thailand where we're gonna be doing a scuba diving course. And uh, we just, today we took a, a four hour bus ride from uh, a small little village called Pai where uh, we just had an amazing time. It was such such a nice, so much like great scenery and uh, a bit touristy at times, but like, it didn't really bother us that much because it was it, like there's so much less hustle and bustle than it is here. This is this, the streets of Chiang Mai, so a lot busier. Um, we're thinking of looking for a massage right now, or maybe not. Uh, Andrew's got a bit of a sunburn, so he rather not be groped all over my sunburn. <laughs> yeah, that might hurt Just a bit. Just on my legs. Um, other than that, uh, man, what's next? I threw up outside of the bus. <laughs> yeah, the so the the bus ride from Pai to Chiang Mai has it's through the mountains. It's a really windy trail, and I think it has like 763 like sharp turns yeah, in it or something it, like it, that. It's this over and over. And as someone who is used to like driving their own car and being the person behind the steering wheel, to be in the back seat of a van during that kind of thing is a feeling that I haven't really not used to since I've been a kid. And so it was very tough on my stomach. It wasn't so bad getting there, but yeah, on the way back it was pretty rough. So uh, thank goodness it had windows and that I was sitting next to one. <laughs> and that everyone else on the bus was asleep too. Yeah, so. they all had their headphones and I was just like, and, and, and I just like, to be like, you know, to be ashamed of myself and everyone's just kind of like either asleep or listening to music. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, Andrew and I, we have, we're starting to get a bit of a solid beard game going on. I think this is the longest my beard has been in my entire life. Yeah, mine looks just like my skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what was I going to say? There was something... Oh, Ch Chiang Mai, we, we got around here on scooters. Everyone has scooters here. You can see... Where are they? There. You rent, you rent motorbikes. And it costs like $3 a day or something. Like, yeah. insanely cheap. And it's so fun to drive around. It's like... It's like in a video game because you're just like dodging through traffic because there, there are like, aside from a few stoplights, there aren't many rules of the road here. It's kind of just like go at your own pace. No one seems to be in a rush. And uh, if there's a space where you can squeeze through, you do it and you just get where you're going as fast as you can. Yeah, they, they just drive however they want and they don't really use their mirrors. They just kind of see a spot ahead. They look ahead and drive that way. And that's just how they're used to it. And it's, I mean, I know there's a lot of accidents in Thailand, most most likely in the south, but here it kind of seemed to work. You know, don't quote me on that. But. I, I love it. It's like biking in Toronto. Like Toronto, Toronto biking is one of my favorite things to do because I get to like weave through traffic and go at my own pace. And it's it's like I'm I'm very aware of like what everyone else is doing, so it's fun for me. And that, the same was with these things. We we rode through rush hour traffic when we were on our way back from uh, one of the waterfalls, I think, and it was a blast. Uh, so I guess we should probably cross the street. Well, we have to figure out which way we're going. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna turn this off now because we gotta figure out where we're going. Bye bye. <laughs>